Hi, in this video I want to do have a look at this solder paste dispenser. Um, I thought what might be interesting is um, with this particular PCB I didn't get a solder stencil made and obviously we can assemble this by hand with tweezers and solder uh, but uh, I thought it might be interesting to do as many of the surface mount parts as possible uh, with a solder paste dispenser. Um, so I actually bought this a couple of years ago um, and never actually took it out of the box until now. Um, in the previous video uh, I had a few comments asking about the uh, compressed air setup for delivering the solder flux and the solder paste and um, about three or four weeks ago I ended up uh, purchasing a Metcal unit uh, that was going very cheap on eBay um, but um, I still wanted to have a look at this one really because this one's a lot more accessible um, in terms of price for most users. I think the Metcal unit goes for about four or five hundred pounds if you buy it from a distributor and they don't really come up on uh, eBay because they're not really that common items. Um, so I thought what we'd do is we would um, have a look at this unit first, um, maybe have a quick look inside because I don't know whether it's uh, how safe it is or anything like that, um, and then we would probably have a go at trying to uh, assemble some of the components onto this PTB uh, with some of the solder paste. So the idea with these is that you connect up your foot pedal and a compressed air supply, and then you plug in your syringe adapter to this uh, connector at the front. So this one came with three different size adapters, um, so this is the most common size and this, uh, once you take off the cap off the syringe, you can plug this in here and twist it around uh, and then you take off the little Lurlock uh, connector on here and put one of these um, little dispensing needles onto it. I think I bought this from eBay for a couple of pounds. Uh, and then you can go around your PCB and put little blobs of solder paste on it uh, and then you can either reflow it with the hot air gun or stick it in a uh, reflow oven. And the way that these work um, and there's various different models. I think this is the most basic. There's a few other variants, the 982A and B and something like that. Uh, but some of them have a digital timer and you can set the time more precisely. But when this is set to automatic mode, um, you set this to your preset um, number that you have found works quite well. And every time you press the foot pedal, it will dispense air for exactly the same amount of time uh, every time you press the foot pedal and that uh, time will depend on the viscosity of the fluid that you're uh, dispensing and the air pressure that you've set it to. Uh, but it means that you can just, um, once you've got it set up, you can put exactly the same amount of solder paste on each pad so you get a really consistent result. So you have your air coming in from your uh, air compressor at um, 90 or 100 psi or whatever you've got it set to and then you've got a air pressure regulator on the front here uh, which sets the pressure that it's going to dispense the air at. So for low viscosity fluids, um, you would turn this right down, otherwise it will just go flying out the syringe. And then for solder paste, you're probably going to want this somewhere near the maximum. Uh, and then you've also got a little dial here to set the vacuum. Um, so what this does is, uh, when you um, press the foot pedal, it will deliver your airflow through the syringe. Um, and then when you release the, the pedal, or whenever the time's timed out, um, it will, if you've got the vacuum turned on, it will pull the syringe back a little bit just to stop it sort of dribbling out the end and to help break off a bit of solder paste. Uh, and then obviously on the front here you've just got a dial to show you the pressure that's been set. On the rear of this particular unit uh, we've got the air inlet here, um, some drip control, I haven't read the uh, manual so I'm not quite sure what this does. Um, and then you've got your foot pedal uh, input here and then obviously the mains and a fuse here. Right, so inside there's nothing too surprising. It obviously is built down to a cost, uh, which you can see, uh, but there's nothing too bad about it all, at all, really. Um, you've got your mains inlet here, uh, going straight into the fuse holder, off to the switch at the front, and then back into the mains transformer. Um, so everything else is um, low voltage on this side, and all of the mains wiring is um, relatively decent gauge, and also heat shrunk and everything, so nothing too bad there. Um, I'm not sure what colour code they're using, but uh, they've got earth uh, with this red conductor going onto the uh, tab of the transformer and also onto the chassis, but uh, at least it's earthed and is, it should be relatively safe. And then we've got this uh, timer board here which goes off to the front panel, um, so the potentiometer, which we'll have a look at in a minute, is connected to uh, these two wires here. Uh, we've got the, uh, the control for determining whether it's on automatic or manual mode. Automatic's the timed mode and manual is just it uh, triggers the solenoid for however long you press the foot pedal. Uh, you've got the input from this um, drip control and what that turns out to be is just sort of a setting for um, what this dial does. So you can see here if it's set to one, 
all of your dispensing times will be below one second. So presumably 10 on the front will be one second and one will be a tenth of a second. And then similarly, there's uh, some different scales here uh, depending on how you set those switches. So that's quite good. And then we've got the air inlet at the back here, which goes off to a, um, a Venturi vacuum pump, uh, which connects to the solenoid and then also off underneath to this pressure regulator, which then goes to the solenoid. Uh, and then we've got our air outlet to the front panel and our pressure gauge feed on the side of the solenoid here. So yeah, nothing too um, surprising really. I think on the bottom of this board, there'll just be a, a basic timer module. So yeah, it's just a, a 555 timer based circuit um, and the dip switches on the back just sort of switch in these capacitors to adjust the time uh, for the capacitors on this 555 and then the potentiometer at the front acts as the, uh, the RC circuit overall. Uh, the solenoid is actually just driven by this tiny uh, transistor, the SOT23 just here. Um, what I thought would have been the switching transistor is actually just a LM317 uh, and we've also got a 12 volt regulator here but uh, yeah, nothing too um, surprising on this board. Okay, so I've just attached um, the syringe of uh, mechanic solder. It's still a little bit cold, so um, it's quite viscous. Um, I've set the air pressure to, um, I think, what's it set to? Uh, almost 90 PSI, so relatively high. Um, and it's set to manual, so it would just work for as long as I will press the pedal for. Uh, let's see if we can dispense anything. Okay. And there we go, that seems to uh, dispense quite well. Let's see what happens if we turn on the vacuum. You can just see it retracts back very slightly. It's not uh, massively dramatic. Um, so let's try it with the timer. Um, but let's see if we can place them on the PCB. So yeah, that's a, that's a little bit generous with the paste. Um, just be careful with the solder paste, generally speaking, because it's not that uh, good for you, actually. You don't really want to get it on your fingers too much. Uh, but a uh, little secret is baby wipes are amazing for cleaning up uh, solder paste. So... Um, they're quite handy to have around. Okay, so um, that needle I think is a little bit too coarse. Right, so this needle is quite a lot finer, but it does still seem to uh, dispense it okay. So let's try and uh, place some of the 0805 parts. There we go, so that's not too bad. So I packed away my pickup tool, but um, I can still place these by tweezers and then we can see uh, how well they reflow again with the uh, hot air station.
And there we go. So that's a quick look at uh, assembling a PCB with one of these solder paste dispensers. Um, it did appear to be quite a lot quicker still than um, assembling by hand with a soldering iron. Um, but um, yeah, unfortunately I've run out of time tonight to assemble the whole board. I'll be interested to see what happens with um, this little uh, SSOP package here because the pin pitch is quite tight. Um, we might be able to run a sausage of uh, solder paste across the pads um, and place the um, microcontroller on top and, and heat it up, but uh, I suspect we'll end up with some solder bridges, but we'll give it a go in the next video uh, and then if not we'll uh, work out how to clean it up by hand. But um, Also I did notice that the solder paste flowed a lot better this time, so I don't know if we just got the um, you know sort of the dry end of the syringe last time because now it's flowing a lot quicker. Um, the reflow process was a lot better this time, it, um, it dragged in the components really well. Uh, I had a little bit of trouble with these just because I couldn't see very well, I haven't got the uh, microscope set up today, so this is just with the camera and I had to keep my head out of the way. Um, but yeah, um, not too bad at all really and um, yeah, I just had a quick look on the internet, you can buy these for $35, um, but as I said you do need a compressed air supply, I'm using a little uh, compressor um, which I'll post a link up to below uh, and the direct piston ones are really noisy but those are the cheapest ones that you can get if you're on a budget. Uh, but there you go, hopefully uh, that was useful uh, but until next time, thanks for watching.